everybody. I am Joel Patton. Y'all know it's been a while since I've done any kind of video or anything else for that matter. And before that, I did the whole home renovation series. You can find the playlist on that. And now I'm kind of here to talk about my latest favorite hobby, which happens to be juicing. I used to think it was like a craze or another fad, another trend. And then I decided to just jump into it and give it a whirl. And I'm having a blast. Um, just incorporating all of these things into my diet that I've never even imagined that I would. So, um, especially vegetables, I'm horrible at eating vegetables, but I always said if I could just drink it in three big gulps, then I can do it that way. So I've been doing that, and I've been doing it for a little over a month now, and I've been having a blast. So um, I want to just show you one of my favorite recipes. Um, it's called the Sherberry Surprise. I found it just Googling on food.com. And um, it just, it consists, it's a fairly simple recipe. And I'll walk over and show you the recipe before I go ahead and get started. But um, it's like a nice little dessertish recipe. It's called the Sherberry Surprise. It consists of carrots, apples, ginger, and strawberries. And when you mix it all together, it kind of tastes like a sherbet. Excuse me for the notification, but yeah. That's how it turned out. So I'm going to walk all over and I'm going to show you what it all consists of in the quantities and we'll just jump on into it. All right. Well, there goes Juro. He always interrupts my videos once again. Hey, buddy. So I wanted to at least show you uh, one of the uh, things that I use, my equipment, should I say, to make my juices. And this is the Breville, I believe it's the RM800 EXJL, it's a die cast. One, it's about a thousand watts. Um, I got it, the remanufactured version. I got that from Amazon. Um, I have a Prime membership. It pays for itself, so you get it in like a day. You don't pay tax. This has worked just fine for me. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump into the ingredients. Now I am making enough for about two servings, two big glasses. So I just doubled the quantity. So if we're going to go at the basic level. It calls for two Granny Smith apples, but I used all those apples making the, um, the mean grain. So I have pink lady, so I have four, but the basic recipe calls for two apples, an uh, inch of ginger, a half uh, orange, and five uh, sticks of um, carrots, excuse me, I'm drawing a blank there, and about uh, eight to ten strawberries. Okay, so... I had to switch gears a little bit because I had made the first one and I had made a video for it, but I forgot to juice well last ingredient, so I just decided to start from scratch. So now we're just going to do the normal quantity, which just calls for uh, the basic recipe. So I'm just going to get started. It's going to be loud. So it only has two settings on this model. So I'm going to put in the maximum for the carrots and the apples and the oranges and the ginger and then soft for the uh, strawberries. So let's go ahead and start this baby up. Here we go. So here's your final product. You got this nice little orange sherbet-y look. So what I do is before I pour it, I just stir it up a little bit, mix everything up. And then I have this uh, model has like, um, the, at least the jar, it has like a, the lid that catches all the foam and stuff. So let's just do that. And I'm putting this one away. Because I already have one that's already made, and I poured it over ice. And I let it sit for a few minutes. 
So I'm going to just take this and place it in the fridge and save that for tomorrow. And there you have it. I mean, that's your strawberry surprise. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the finished product that I'm going to sit here and enjoy. It's a nice, healthy, tasty snack. It's, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Um, it's delicious. It puts a smile on my face every time I'm going to drink it. So I love it. And this is my new hobby. So I'm going to try my best to uh, continue to update you on like whatever recipes I found. Because I, I mean, I'm no expert in this. I just Google around, schmoogle around, and see what jumps out at me and if I feel a little adventurous I'll try it out and then that'll be that. So like I said I've been at it for a month so I'll just continue to share some of my favorites and I, I'm not doing any juice fasts or anything else like that. I'm just doing it just to get some some healthy stuff in my body that I just would not normally eat. So bottoms up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll, I mean, feel free to hit me up. I will be happy to share with you what I can from what I know. Thanks.